Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back. So today I'm going to take you along with me as I do some chores and some projects around my house. It's going to be one of those get it done days where I've got a whole bunch of little projects and little things on my list that need to get done that I've been putting off. Um, so I'm just going to take you guys along with me as I work throughout the day. I'm getting sort of a late start. It's already 2 o'clock in the afternoon, but that's all right. <laughs> it is a beautiful Monday day today. It is almost 80 degrees out here in Minnesota, which is unheard of for this time of the year. So we have got the windows wide open. It's getting a little warm in here, so I'll probably be sweating my buns off as I'm working. But it actually kind of feels kind of good to finally... Be warm like this so I'm going to enjoy it because tomorrow it's supposed to be rainy and only about 60 degrees so it should be a nice day to get some stuff done around the house so what I need to get done today let's talk about that really quickly um, the first order of business is to declutter the main spaces of the um, main floor of my home with Easter weekend being last weekend we had a nice relaxing weekend and I didn't really keep up on you know decluttering and that thing sort of thing and I just enjoyed the weekend instead which was lovely and I hope you guys had a good Easter weekend as well um, we had a great time with my sister's family and my mom and it was a beautiful day that day too so it was a nice enjoyable enjoyable weekend um, but now I feel like the clutter is taking over in my house so I'm gonna get my living room dining room kitchen area decluttered a little bit and then I have a few areas in my dining room that I want to redecorate with a few new items that I've just picked up so I'll show you guys that as I work on those little arrangements the other thing I want to get done today hopefully <laughs> like I told you there's a whole bunch of little things that I need to get done one thing I would like to work on is a basket or a wreath or something like that for my front door I would like to Put together or make something for both the sides both the front of the door and the back side of the door um just because i just think that would look really nice and i love having a wreath or something like that on the front door and i really like having it on the inside of the front door as well because it's kind of a focal point in our landing area and our landing area isn't big enough in our stairwell to actually like decorate it all so that's like the only sort of ornamentation I can put in that space so it's kind of nice to have something on the back of the door so it is I want to get that done and then hopefully <laughs> I'll be able to get outside as well and do a little bit of work in the garden for the first time this year maybe do some deadheading and stuff like that I don't think it's too muddy out there I'm not really sure but I know that the babies would love to get outside and run around and have me out there with them as well so I'll probably get to that maybe sometime early this evening after the heat of the day is over. So that should be nice. Maybe I'll even have a fire. Oh, it's a little too windy, I think, for a fire right now. But anyways, so that is my plan for today. I hope you guys will stay and follow along with me as I get some work done. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have a few things that I have picked up lately that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, a couple things that I've ordered up for Amazon, something from the grocery store, and some seed packets. I'm so excited. I know it's a little late. It's a little late for me to start any like seedlings in the house, but I did pick up some zinnia packets, and these I will put directly into the soil out in my garden. Um, I want to do a cutting garden this year, so zinnias are perfect for that. So I got two packages of the big ones. What, where is, what does this say? It says California Giants mixed color. That's this one, and then I also picked up double. Giant double flowered mixed colors like that um, and then some smaller ones these are like teeny tiny little ones I think they're only like a couple inches 24 inches tall and then these are even smaller I love these little guys and they're only about 14 inches tall make a really great like border plant for the garden so I've got those two to work with as well I think it's probably a little early for me to plant seeds but I may go ahead and do it anyways. I'm not sure. So the next thing is something I picked up at the grocery store. They had plants on sale. I've been wanting to have some sort of indoor plant. Since I did my little display over here, if you watch my spring um, kitchen decorate with me video, I did all full like greenery plants up there. And ever since I'm like, I need a real plant. I need a real plant. 
especially since I've been craving gardening and it's not quite gardening time here in Minnesota yet. So I picked up this little guy right here. He was $20 and it's like a mixture plant. I'm not really sure. It comes in this cute little pot. The only thing I know for sure is this plant right here. This I believe is a mini majesty palm. And then let's see if I can get a little closer for you guys so you can see it. This is some sort of viney plant. I have no idea what it is, but it gets these nice big um, leaves on it. And then there's this plant as well, which I don't know what this is either, but it reminds me of ribbon grass, which I used to grow in my garden, but I took it out because it just likes to take over. So I thought this was a cute little plant to try to attempt to keep some house plants alive in my house. I am a terrible terrible person when it comes to any live plants in my house. I always end up killing them or they get like those little gnats on them. Do you know what I mean? So I don't know if you guys have any idea what I am doing wrong and why I get the little gnats on them. I don't understand. I think I'm over watering them, but I don't know. I don't know. So we shall try this little guy <laughs> and see how it goes. I just thought it was really adorable and it really, um, just kind of spoke to me with all the greens so I had to pick that up all right so then the next thing I want to show you guys is a couple things that I picked up off of Amazon and the first one being it is a duster I'm so excited about this you guys um, this is for a duster for like along the edge of your ceiling or whatever we have a spot in our entryway that is super super tall it's got cobwebs up there and they've been up there forever and I can't reach it standing on a ladder and I still can't reach it with a broom or anything like this so I bought this little guy this guy has a detachable head it just kind of screws on and off so it's got this one which is like a microfiber like knobby sort of situation and then there's this one and this one actually bends so you can kind of like make it fit to whatever you want which I think is gonna be perfect for like ceiling fans and then both of those go on this rod and it um, gets longer, like super long. Well, not super long. I think it goes up to like six feet or something like that, if I remember correctly from when I <laughs> ordered it. But anyways, I thought it was pretty cool. So I'm very excited about this. I'm going to use this to clean my fan today, um, which actually I should put on the other I should put the other hat on. And the one thing I did want to mention, the reason why I picked this one up for sure is that the heads are washable. They just slip off real nicely. They got a little tab here that you can help pull it back on. So you just take it off. You can run it through your washer or you can just hand wash it, which is probably what I'll do. And then dry them and reuse them. And I think that is awesome. So I'm loving that. And then it came with this little guy too. Look at this little guy. He's so adorable. He's like a little four inch duster with the little knobbies. And then this one actually gets really long as well. This one I could probably use for like tops of doors and probably like my lower ceilings. So I'm loving this. I think it's so cute. Um, actually, Rama loves this thing. Emma, Zoe was playing it with her the other day. She was going nuts. But this one also comes off and is washable. So that's pretty cool. So I don't know. I'm pretty excited about this. I haven't had anything like this in a really long time. So that makes me pretty excited. So I have one more thing I need to go grab. So I'll be right back. All right, so then the other thing that I picked up is this right here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it very well, but it is a plate rack. I found this off of Amazon. It's got a rustic kind of look to it. It's a metal sort of situation. I have been wanting one of these for so long, and I keep looking at like Hobby Lobby and stuff like that, but I never see them. So I found this one on Amazon, like I said, and it was only $20. So, of course, I had to pick it up. So I'm loving this. So this is one of the things that I'm going to decorate with today. Um, I can't wait to get this put up and set up and displayed. I will make sure to list both the plate rack, if you're interested, and the little duster that I picked up down in the description box. And I'll also put them on my Amazon shop in case you're interested in either one of these. 
I think they are both awesome products. So I'm so excited about them. So, all right. So those are the new things that I had to share with you guys. So now it's time to go. I pretty much cleaned up the living room, the kitchen here as much as I'm going to do for now. But the living room is really, really, not really bad. It's just cluttered. So I need to clean up in there. And the dining room is looking pretty good as well. It's mostly just the living room that I need to straighten up a bit. And then we can go get working on some projects. Now that the living room is all spruced up, I'm going to get my diffuser going as well. I have been loving this new essential oil that I picked up called Honey Apple. It smells so amazing. So I'm going to use that today. I'll make sure to link it down below in case you're interested. It is a wonderful light scent that smells really amazing. Next, I'm going to go ahead and give the living room a dusting. I'm going to use this little duster first off for all the tabletops and that sort of thing. Not only is it cute and adorable, but it makes dusting go pretty quickly. looking like the living room is looking much more delightful now nice and clean Raymond's found a new spot to take a little nap and I'm gonna move into the dining room and do some fun stuff like decorating so this is a display that I put together for my spring home tour and I really like it but 
I think what I'm going to do is replace, move this out and replace it with my new plate rack. Fill it up with some pretty plates and then we'll see what happens. I may have to prop this up. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. But first, I'm going to remove this. Let's see how the plate and rack looks. It's a little long. We'll have to readjust. There. That looks cute. Now I'm just going to have to find the perfect plates to go on it. So I rounded up a mixture of plates. First off, I'm going to start with these ones. I love these, but I only have two of them. So I'm going to add these here. Then look at these. Purple. Oh my gosh, I love these. I have like five or six of these, so I'm just going to use two of them. these which are very old can you see all the crazing on it and the browning they have purple little flowers on them I think they're gorgeous so I have two of these as well and then finally my favorite one look at these purple ones I know I don't I'm not using purple in the rest of my decor but I don't really care <laughs> I'm going to be mix, mixing things up. So I've got the blues. You know what? I have one other set that I forgot to get out. So anyways, we'll start with these. I am in love with these purple transfer wares. They are so gorgeous. They have little birds on them, little flowers. I love them. So I'm going to put these in here as well into the mix. I'm going to go find those other plates that I wanted to use as well. All right, so then I rounded up these as well. These are absolutely beautiful. These are the salad plates. I also have large plates. You got four of each, the small and the big. And I just love the floral design, isn't that pretty? Perfect mixture of the blues, the yellows, and the pinks. With a little bit of green, I love it. So we're gonna throw these in here as well. What size are these? Yeah, we'll switch these down. that looks cute all right so the last thing I want to do is add this little guy into the mix I think it's absolutely beautiful and I have yet to use it love all the crazing and love the pink flowers with the white I think it's really pretty so what I'm gonna do is add it down here in front of the tulips kind of at an angle and I'm gonna put my little tea lights in it I'll add another one here I had this just a single out before but I'm going to add another one because I think that will look pretty. I need to find a votive for that, but I'll do that later. But I think that looks nice. Nice little sparkle for the evening time. The only problem with this is that now I can't see my picture frame. So I want, it, I want to prop it up a little bit. So let me go see what I can find to prop it up on. I might be able to hide some books back there. I found this little guy. I think this will work. I'm gonna take these plates out of the way first. It's just a little uh, canning jar. I'll stick it back in here. I think that'll work. Put the plates back on. That'll work. It's not too disruptive to the overall look of things. I like it. All right, so here's the finished look for today. In this section, I am loving the plate rack. I've been wanting one of these for so long. I'm so thrilled that I finally had one. I love it. So I think it looks really nice right here. I think the, the picture frame could be a little taller, but I think it'll be fine. It'll be fine the way it is. So for now, that is the new look, and I'm liking it. What do you guys think? 
let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this new look. If you like it the way it is now or if you like it the way it was before. Let me know down in the comments. switch out today is this baby scale. I'm going to use it here in my dining room on the little table in the corner. I found this at the thrift store. You may remember it from a recent thrift store Thursday haul. I am in love with it. I think it is the coolest thing ever. So I'm going to use it here in the dining room. Not quite sure what I'm going to put on top of it yet. So i got to figure that out and then we'll get decorating with it. So I'm so excited. Well, here's what I currently have on the table and this is what I did for my home, my spring home tour. And I really like it. But I think I want to change it up with the scale because I'm excited to use the scale. I originally thought I would just kind of take this whole arrangement and put it on the scale. So I'm going to try that first and see how I like it. like with just adding the scale using everything else that was the same I'm not sure about these so much I think they're cute I want them to keep them I want to keep them just because I like the little candlelight at night um, but I think it looks cute like that but I'm gonna try one other arrangement so I'm gonna go get some supplies and we'll see how that one turns out So here is my second look, and I'm liking this one just because it's a little bit different for me. What I did was stacked up a stack of my vintage sheets from my collection and then put this little bouquet from Michael's on top of it. And I think it looks really super cute, very springtime and fresh. Um, and then I just kept the little votives, and of course I stacked it all on top of the little scale. And I think it looks really cute. So I'm going to leave it like this for a little bit until I want to switch it up again. I think that'll be kind of fun. So yay, I like how that turned out.
already 7 o'clock and I have not made dinner yet. So I am going to stop working for the day, get my dinner made, and I think there's a basketball game to watch tonight. So I'm going to finish doing that. I did not get out into the garden today, which is sad times, but that's all right. The dogs got to go outside quite a bit today. They were in and out all day long, and they were loving it. Um, so that was a good thing. So hopefully this weekend I'll have some time to get into the garden and start working on that. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I would love to know what you think down in the comments. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye now.